Welcome to my channel. On this video, I will be uh, working on, on this highliner. Uh, this car need to uh, reupholster the highliner. This video will be uh, on English, but first let me tell in Spanish uh, for my audio in Spanish. While this video will be on English only. Este video va a ser en solamente en inglés porque ya tengo el mismo video, lo único que lo tengo en español y algunos me han estado mencionando de que por qué no pongo este video en inglés siendo de que son carros que se dañan demasiado es por eso de que este video va a estar solamente en inglés y les voy a dejar el link de el video en español so I'm going to start taking my part by the way I had this video for a long time ago in Spanish and now uh, people have been asking for in English so I will try to make it on English so first you have to make sure everything is working check the light, check the sun visor sometimes the sun visor uh, are broken and you don't want to deal with that things let the customer know if it is for the customer but if it is your uh, you are uh, supposed to know so i am working uh, uh, trying to remove that uh, uh, console right there and it comes with two screws see i removed the two screws i am using an electrical i uh, mean wireless screw gun but in case if you don't have one uh, you can um, uh, do it by hand remove everything by hand now you have to unplug see that easy to remove that uh, hanger hang, handle have a, like a hole from the back you just have to push it and twist it see uh, soon as you're done removing that you can uh, you have to remove the sun visor too and it comes with the plastic behind that plastic are two screws remove that plastic just be careful uh, if the car is old you have to spend more time uh, because those plastic are rotten are toasted and are easy to break so just remove those two screws So I got this, this sun visor. Okay, I got the sun visor out. Now I have to remove this handle. This handle has two plastic. You have to remove those plastic. Because those plastic are holding the handle. See how they are? And same thing over here. You will need like a, a door click remover. It's a tool, or you, you can uh, just to a, a flat screwdriver. That will take time to do it. I recommend you some of those uh, click remover for a door panel. Ahora lo único que van a hacer ustedes es jalarlo. Just be careful, don't pull it too hard. And pull it straight, do not try to twist it. See, así es, that's the way it is. Now you have to remove this panel. Be careful with that part because there is the airbag in that area. Uh, be careful. You don't want to uh, ruin the airbag because you have to buy a new one and those airbags are so expensive. I have to remove this uh, center uh, post and just pull it. No más jalenlo. Just be careful. You see that post is out. And I have to do the same thing with that hanger right there. Okay, I remove one already and it had two clicks. So I got out the click now I just pull the handle and that this handle is out too. So I have to remove that light. That is a plastic light, just pull like a I use like a little like a, a punch hole but like an angle. And after that I have to take out those two screws. That's one are Phillips. And here is one more. So 
so I, that light is out. So now I have to remove the quarter panel, the rear quarter panel. To remove this quarter panel, remember, have an airbag right there. There is a side that I have an airbag on that area. So uh, if you never done something like this, just pay attention to where those clicks are. First, you have to remove this one. And then you have to pull it on there because it doesn't have a screw. See? It's everything with click. Todo. So I got one side completely out. No más le di like, uh, I just give you like an idea, but removing one side. I didn't show you how to do the other side because it's the same. Now I just pull it. You, you can remove the driver's side completely. I removed the, uh, the passenger side completely, but you can do the driver's side. If you never done something, remove both sides. That's why it's better and easier for you. And now you have to take that this whole board to the passenger uh, to the passenger door. This car is four door and the car is not that big, so those doors are small. You have to uh, bend a little bit that board or the fiberglass. In case if it's a fiberglass, the fiberglass. See, I have to fold it. That the only way how you're going to remove it. Other way you have to remove the windshield or the back uh, window to remove it but it's not necessary just fold it a little bit and do it fast don't take it too long okay i got the headliner right here now i have to start removing the whole uh, fabric you see i'm removing the fabric but uh you see that uh Behind that fabric is all our old phone. I have to remove that phone too. I have to clean it. Never ever put the new material on top of the old phone because it's not gonna work. It. It's not gonna look good. See, you have to remove all that dirty, all those. Uh, and it's not hard, you can do it by hand, but I recommend you to use an old uh, piece of carpet, any towel will work too on this kind of headliner. Wire brush would be excellent. If you have a, like a power brush uh, grinder uh, angle, that would work fine too. What I did is, uh, is uh, I cut a carpet and then I fold it. And with the back of the carpet, that like a rough part of the carpet, I use it to clean it. That's what I, 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 I did, and that worked fine. But in case if you are doing this at home and you don't have a carpet, just use any towel and remove the old uh, phone. On this hairliner, like I say, it is so easy to remove it, but some hairliners are hard to do it, to remove it, and you have to use a wire brush or uh, a, a grinder to remove it. Grind this with the power tool. My brother used to do this a lot, this kind of headliner. After you're done removing or sanding the old phone, you have to blow it or you have to vacuum, either one. Then you have to measure the material. Uh, if the headliner, the measurement is 65 inches, don't cut them exactly, give it like 70, 72 inches. Give it some extra. That way when you put glue and when you're going to uh, put the headliner on top of the uh, board 
you are not like a fighting, like having a have a hard time to to put him on. But it my bro my brother was going to do this headliner and then he said no you do it. So then I decided to do it and take a video. Okay, here is one more thing. I'm going to use a glue pad. Uh, the glue that I'm going to use, the nail is land down. I'm going to write it down. There is the nail, as you can see, land down. That's the glue that I use for headliner, for carpet. And it's worth fine with this uh, glue gun. You can buy the glue gun in Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those places. Don't go with the expensive one. Get the middle one. I don't, I don't, I don't. I never buy the expensive, I buy the I don't buy the cheapy one too, I get one from the middle. And it works fine with this kind of glue. And when you put glue, if you use a glue pad, make sure to put glue uh, a lot, especially in those areas that the headliner is not playing. <coughs> Excuse me. Because uh, on that area the headliner will have a lot of pressure. If you don't put enough glue, later on will create a bubble and a bubble of air so and you don't want that because it, it will unglue a little by little so put glue and put glue even and all don't leave it like a spot without glue That I put glue I do this by myself you see but if you are not used to do it this way get somebody else to help you okay one uh, you get one corner one side and the other guy to get the other side that way you don't ruin it the new headliner the new material because it is easy to ruin it see when you when you make sure you have like an extra material on four sides of the board then you can start a uh, uh, rubbing and don't uh, rubbing with the, your finger do it with the palm of your hand because you don't want like dents on the headliner you don't want like bubble on the headliner no you want that area plain with a mark see don't do it this way see don't do it with your finger don't do it like that. No, if you do it like that, you're going to ruin it. No, it has to be like that. Flat hand, palm, and just rub. See? That easy. There is some time. Just remember the glue. Uh, if you don't, uh, if you take too long, the glue is not gonna work. You, the material won't stick to the board because uh, it's okay to let let it, let the glue dry for about a minute. But if you keep the headliner like that for ten minutes, then it won't work. So uh, take your time, but not that much. And make sure to mold the material uh, by the shape of that board. See, it is not hard to do it. Just you have, I think you just have to have the right tool. For example, the glue pad, uh, the uh, glue, um, a tool to remove it from the car, to clean it. That's it. That's it. And to clean it, you don't need tool. You can do this by hand. Keep on mind, if you are doing a Honda Civic headliner that uh, is not like uh, like this, some Honda Civic are hard to remove it, are pain on the butt to do it. But this is easy. 
and you can see right there after I've done the face of the hairline I cut it and I cut it one inch away from that from that edge you see this hairline that side uh, it wasn't folded but I'm gonna fold it in because I want I, I always do it that way I always fold it even it come when, when our original they cut them exactly on the edge I am not going to cut it exactly I'm gonna give it extra to fold it And then I put glue, and then you see, I stick the material to the board. Same thing right there, and right there it was unfolded, original. If you're going to do your own headliner, just make sure to get the right headliner. It's one, uh, most of the headliner are one quarter thickness and some of them are one eight. Get one quarter. Uh, if it doesn't have a sunroof, get one quarter. In case if it, that your car have a sunroof, get one eight. Because you have to cover the sunroof. Uh, if you uh, cover the sunroof with that one quarter thick headliner, it will, it will, it will be too thick. You can still make it with one quarter, but uh, I prefer using a uh, one a for uh, when the headline have a, when the car have a sunroof. So I got this part almost done. I made those holes. You see, I cut it, but I never cut it exactly to the edge. I just give it like a little bit extra. All the hole I made, I cut it like that. And so now then I just make an X where the handle go. I just make an X where our lie. I just cut it and I cut it a little bit extra Después de, uh, after I, I wrap the material, I clean it, I use the blower, but if you don't have a blower, just you have to use the vacuum. See, the headliner, it follow every, uh, all the shape of the fiberglass. Now I'm going to put it back. If you are going to put it back the headliner, make sure to, uh, the process when you are putting the headliner through the passenger side, that process do it fast. Do not keep the headliner full for long because it will create some mark. Do it fast. That process right there, it has to be fast. See? And fold it and fast. See? Took me less than, uh, I would say less than 25 seconds. And the headliner didn't create mark. That's good. If you keep the, uh, the headliner folding for a uh, one minute too many maybe you will uh, see some mark at the end and believe me those mark uh if somebody is picky will say something about those mark but if it is your uh that's different story so now i have to put this headliner back first i had to put them on there i didn't remove that side and you see i didn't remove this side either i just removed the handle I didn't show you that side 
because most of the time when I am working on the Cambodia tab or headline, I only show you how you can remove one side. So I got this headliner on place. Now I just have to make sure to match those holes. Hole from the sun visor, it has to match with the uh, hole of the car. It has to match. If it doesn't match, make sure to line up. Do not start putting the headliner without making sure those holes line up. See, this hole, it has to line up with the other. And then I, I just twist it. Nomás le doy vuelta poquito. And same thing right here. Simple as that. So I got those two handles, and that's more than enough. By putting those two handles, I already know this headliner, the rest of the hole are going to match hole from the board and hole from the car. So I put that console in there. It goes with two uh, small screws. And make sure those lights are working after you finish. And now you have to look for the hole of the sun visor. When you are making sure the hole matches, start putting the screw. And one more thing, if you've never done a headliner before or you don't have experience, do, I prefer uh, my advice to you is do everything by hand. Do not use the wireless screw gun because you can ruin the headliner. So I got this part. And now we'll put this uh, post. Uh, those plastics should go in easily. In case if it doesn't go in, don't force it uh, too much because you might end up breaking. Uh, see why it's not going in. See if it does hold the hole with the uh, panel. That panel to have a click. If it, that click is, it doesn't line up, it doesn't match with the hole of the car, uh, find out why. But don't uh, make too much pressure on it. I'm going to start putting the, those handles. And just remember, how did you remove in case if you are take uh, you take them out you think you are not going to remember how to put it back uh, easy get your cell phone get a camera take picture in case if you don't remember those pictures might help you to uh, put it back to remember uh, rem uh, will remind remind you how those pieces go Also, I got this part already. Now I just have to put one more handle in the rear panel. Rear quarter panel. I removed that gasket and I did it on one side. I always do. Now just make sure to put this panel. You see, and it going by itself. You just have to put them on there, hit them a little bit and that's it. So now I put this plastic. And that plastic is in. So one more thing and it is this. This and the light. And that will be all for this. Let's go like this. As it's good. And it go like this. Are in. So now you just have to put a plastic, that plastic, what I, the function of that plastic is to hold that click on place, 
uh, that way that clay doesn't uh, don't come out because if you don't put that plastic that clay might move and might come out so that uh, handle is is done so I have to put this line now and that plastic go with two screw And this headliner is almost done. I just give you an idea how you can make it by your own. A lot of people ask me, where are you located? Where are you located? I have a job for you. I, I am not looking for a job and I am not looking for employee. The purpose of this, this channel is just to give you an idea how you can make it. That's the purpose of this channel. See, I put that handle. My two brothers and me, we have been doing this for a long time ago. From a long time ago. I had two brothers, both of them are a poster. I work in a postery and they are good doing a uh, postery too. So that uh, driver uh, size and visor is done. Those are uh, some bikes that are expensive in case if you ruin it, are all plastic. Just a little bit of the center, uh, let's go with the upholstery. So uh, pretty much that, that's it. I just give you an idea guys how you can uh, upholster your own headliner. Honda Civic 2006, but you can apply this technique to any Honda Civic, can be 2003, can be 2010, and might be a little bit different 2003 or 2010 11 might be too, a little bit different but it's almost the same you get the idea how you can uh take them out clean it and put the new material then put it back so you had the idea right here so now you have to uh watch the video over and over before you start uh doing the uh, making your own headliner or working on the headliner like this thank you for supporting my channel guys i hope you enjoy it if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and comment, leave it in the comment section of this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do it, click the bell. That way you don't miss any new update. So thank you and see you later. Bye bye.